So another custom room based on Android 14 Nameless, Paranoid Android is also released, which is also renamed as AOSPA. I think so a lot of users are aware of this custom room, which are the things included, how are the first impressions and everything I'm going to talk about in this video. So stay tuned as this is based on Android 14. Although yes, I'm using unofficial version and official version as far as I know, it's not available yet for any device while making this video, but it will be available soon. For now, as this is just an initial version unofficial version but things could be actually same in the upcoming official version too that is why we are here one of the main highlights some of the things are included for example the launcher the launcher right now i have used a lot of android 14 based custom rooms all those custom rooms are having pixel launcher pre-installed but this one as expectedly is having their paranoid android launcher which is of course not a customization focused launcher but some of the useful features like swipe to access google feed which is optional also the icon labels which you can hide from desktop and app drawer and double tap to sleep some great features are already included and most likely they will work for sure if you use the official version. It depends upon which device you use. Secondly, the quick settings panel. The quick settings panel right now I have used in a lot of custom homes are actually having dark, I mean dark color is available. But in this case, this is light shade. Doesn't matter if you use a light mode or dark mode in those custom homes which you use like we have Dubfest OS, we have Evolution X OS. But in this case, if you use a light mode, you will get the light quick settings panel. Panel. if you use a dark mode you will get the dark quick settings panel some of the customization features are also added here but we will look into that if you take a look at the power menu it brings you the advanced reboot option which is so useful and also the power menu is also in light mode if i move on to the settings options in case you don't know in case you don't know about aospa or paranoid android custom home this custom home does not brings you any major customizations as you can see the settings ui is actually looking like stock it is not having any kind of major customizations but some useful features were included are included and will always be included if you move on to the network and internet options you will notice the most useful feature for some of the users like network traffic indicator it's available it's also available as an option so if you don't need that you can simply disable also the auto hide option is also present although you can't customize or you can't configure some things in this option but that is still better if you compare it with some other options in sound and vibration you will notice the always show icon when in vibrate mode the tap and click sounds all the android 14 kind of features one thing is, in case you don't know, the new silent icon is also introduced in the status bar. If I enable this silent icon, you can see the silent icon is bit changed as compared to Android 13. And this is the change which I have shared with you in my Android 14 stable version video. If you did not check out the video, the changes which are available in Android 14, you can go and check it out. One of the main highlights of Android 14, of course, is the lock screen clocks. So it doesn't matter which custom room you will use, like in some custom rooms in Android 13, lock screen clocks were available, but that was, I mean, that is that was an option. In some custom rooms, the option was present, in some it was not. But because Android 14 already brings you these things by default, so most likely in every custom room, pixel experience or even lineages, I guess, you will get these kind of clocks pre-installed, so that's good. Also, as you can see, this kind of clock looks interesting. And if you hold here, you will see the customized lock screen option this is also one of the main highlights of android 14 to be very honest lock screen looks quite interesting quite good you can simply choose according to you whichever you want to choose customize lock screen option in my personal opinion looks quite interesting but if you don't want to use this thing this is not available as an option if you don't like this thing i don't think so a lot of users actually things about if you if they like it or not in system icon pack you have some options not available like archers or pui but those will be available in the upcoming updates for now these are not available but some custom fonts options are available as i'm using an official version i'm not exactly sure if it will be included in the official version or not but for now i just hope in gestures we have screen of gestures which is available in Paranoid Android from a long time and screen of gestures are available in some other custom rooms too but most of the times they will give you double tap to lock or double tap to wake but in this case you have the option to customize that you have the option to toggle the flashlight which I just did play pause music next music toggle airplane mode wake device there are many more options available for you so this is also kind of really awesome 
other than else things are basically same this is about paranoid android first look i guess based on android 14 not official but official is coming very very soon these were the things i just wanted to let you know if you want to try it out on a device as soon as this will come i will let you know but for now if it is available we'll provide you the official website link in the description make sure to check out that thanks for watching we'll see you in the next one goodbye